parents believe she was murdered. The AG's office, led by Josh Shapiro, has long insisted evidence proves the 27-year-old died by suicide, but the Greenbergs are convinced she was murdered, and they're currently suing the city's medical examiner with the hope of reopening the case. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard today's edition of Human Events Daily here live, Butler, Pennsylvania. Today is August 2nd, 2024, Anno Domini. Folks, the receipts hole on Josh Shapiro keeps getting deeper and deeper and deeper. Yesterday, we covered a little bit, we'll get into more of it today, the case of Ellen Greenberg, the horrific stabbing death that she received in 2011, just outside Maniunk, Pennsylvania, which is in the Philadelphia area, East Falls, where she was found stabbed 10 times in the front, 10 times in the back, including the back of her head, including her spinal column, twice, according to testimony from medical examiners, post-mortem. And yet Josh Shapiro signed off on this being a suicide. And why would he do that? Does it have to do with potential connections that her fiance had to powerful members of the Pennsylvania legal community? Just some basic questions that we don't seem to have gotten answers to and that Josh Shapiro doesn't seem to want to give us answers to. Why is it then that the family of Ellen Greenberg has tried for 13 years to just get some semblance of an investigation going? And yet when you go to Josh Shapiro's office, when he was the attorney general, Josh Shapiro would just tell you, oh, no, 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 just a suicide. There's nothing to see here. It seems like there's a lot to see here, but Josh Shapiro doesn't want you to see that. The same way that he doesn't want you to know about the sexual harassment going on in his own office that was perpetuated by one of his cabinet members, a guy by the name of Mike Vera. Mike Vera, a former Republican who decided to become